Gerald, the investment that you have here at Microsystems is something that I've uh, not seen, certainly with some big machine tools here. However, today we're here to talk about your recent uh, acquisition, which is the Alicona Infinite System. But tell us a little bit more about Microsystems. So Microsystems has been established in 2003. So we are classed as ultra-precision tool makers uh, uh, operating in the medical business. Pretty much 100% of our business is medical. Areas of expertise is uh, contact lenses and, and microfluidic, pretty much. So we, we've got capacity in-house to do the design, development, manufacturing, assembly, and testing of all our tools. And then we ship globally, as uh, most of our cu customers are, are abroad. So when you look at the investment of, uh, for instance, the Kern machines that you've got here, what sort of tolerances are you pre precisely giving your customers? Tolerances, again, we can be quite flexible with the customers depending on what type of uh, requirements they have, but we're talking plus or minus one microns as a, as a general rule that uh, some of the processes actually demand pretty much plus or minus one micron. And then when it comes to microfluidic, sometimes we go a little bit beyond that, which can be quite challenging. And the investment on, on the Alicona that allow us to go into the nanometer uh, type of level when it comes to surface roughness and quantify the full topography of, of the geometries that we machine that have to be absolutely perfect for, for our customers within this new challenge. Uh, uh, market that is the uh, microfluidic or lab on a ship. And tell me, how, how did you actually uh, measure the uh, products for your customers before the Alicona investment? So before there's a lot of uh, contact measurements, CMMs, and uh, also smart scopes as well. So we're talking plus or minus one micron, but the limitation started to be, you know, once we start going small and small in terms of the features we, we are machining, we started to go into a level where we could only uh, check with microscopes visually so you could see if things look right but you couldn't really put a figure against and see if, you, if they were actually measuring right as well as looking right and uh, I think that was the big step forward for us so it's like entering into a new a new level of, of engineering really for us so it was quite powerful it still is actually uh, uh, but uh, it allowed us to start operating into a, in, a, in a very very niche market the microfluidic and supply uh, the ultimate quality to our customers. And does it give you confidence for your customers and repeatability based on the Alicona? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Again, uh, you know, when uh, talking about uh, uh, high precision CMM, you, you're talking plus or minus one micron tolerances. You know, you've got the resolution of 10 nanometers with the Alicona, depending on the lens, obviously, that you're using. Um, but yeah, we supply now even full 3D CAD comparisons. Uh, with the ultimate resolution and that couldn't be more reassuring for the customers that they've got what they ask for uh, to, a, to a full scale. So when you invest in something like this Alicone Infinite, what sort of support and training have you had? The support is very good, so you always have someone on the other side of the line. And uh, uh, in terms of training, it's a very easy operating piece of kit, so you don't really need much support on that score. At the same time, so obviously you've got obviously the surface roughness type of uh, uh, knowledge that that is some um, training that you can have either with Alicona or or independently. But the actual uh, operation of the software is very very easy. Everybody can easily pick up the Alicona with the 10 minutes, 10 minutes quick quick training really. And with the medical sector and the type of medical products that you actually supply to your customers, with the investment of the Alicona Infinite, do you feel that if customers are looking for something, you've got all the facilities here to actually deliver a very tight tolerance for their need? Yes, absolutely. Again, this is, this is the, the, the justification to, Im, to do such an investment, which is not uh, normal within an injection uh, tool maker. It comes down by you know, the need from some very demanding projects. And that's what we are, microsystems. We just accept we tend to be on the highly demanding projects. That's why people come to our door. Uh, I got some customers sometimes saying, you know, if we knocked all, a few doors before we come to you, obviously, because they know, they know we, we, we've got that mentality of, yes, let's, let's talk about it, let's try to bring that idea into, into a project, no, no matter how, how challenging and how, how, how difficult this, uh, this, uh, this project can be, that's, that's what defines us, really. And it's not just about the people in a, in a company like yours, it's, it's very much about the investment and everything that you've got here is at the highest level. Yes, no, absolutely. Again, you, you, you know, to deliver quality, you have to have the best, the best machines, you have to have the best people and the most best processes. It's all really uh, linked. And, and again, just the machines is not enough. 
you got to have everything in place to to do in order to be able to deliver and people really is the key as well uh, but you know the equipment are obviously something that you know you you must have you know if you're trying to deliver ultimate quality you have to have the best product the best in class products uh, to be able to deliver the quality that the, the customers require well we've certainly seen some very high end products that you've got here thanks very much for your time today now thank you welcome